fabulousness. Y'all look good to feel good. The energy is amazing. Are you feeling good? You feeling good? Your show look like it. I love the energy. It just always lifts me up and make me feel extra good. And I need your energy today because I woke up at two this morning. Yeah, who is right, child? And then on the prompt, they say go sit on the couch. I don't think y'all want me to do that. Jennifer might be like... <laughs> them fell asleep, but I'm gonna attempt to do it. And if you need to just chin me on up, you do that, okay? But y'all already woke me up, okay? I'm gonna attempt it. I'm gonna attempt to sit down, but you know, I'm a working mama. And baby, some mornings, I need the biggest cup of coffee I can find. You, you, you understand? Okay? I call it working double duty. And this morning was triple duty. I said, wait, who calling me at two in the morning? It ain't nobody but Walter. And then he be so chippery with it. Like, who, who first of all, who calling me at two in the morning? I just laid down at 11. <laughs> and then he come, good morning. Like, why are you so excited to wake me up like that? <laughs> so to get through the day, first of all, your energy blessed me, but I did bring a big old, big old, gigantic honey. <laughs> Hold the line. Uh. <laughs> Okay, and I'm, I'm, I'm moving. I told you I was gonna keep it real with you. I'm moving a little slow today. I normally have my, my word of the day on, it, on here already, but I'm gonna have to write it on here today, okay? Let's see, what you think my word should be today? Patience. What'd you say, patience? patience. Gratitude. Gratitude is always a part of it, each and every day, right? That's what keeps me... When I got to sit up and think about what I get to do, that, that rejuvenated me alone to be able to say, you know what, I don't care what hour I got to get up because why sleep when you are busy living your dream, okay? So with that being said, I'm gonna put, you know what, I wanna put dream because I'm living my dream. I think I've, it kinda got smeared, but I'm an artist, don't worry, worry my hand right ain't the best. But look, I could also sing in this ball. <laughs> I like to find acoustics in everything. You know where I rehearse that is in the washroom? You probably don't know that. But don't act like you don't sing in the shower. You do, and you think you sound good, right? Well, so do I! <laughs> okay, that's, that's really not what I'm supposed to be talking about. I'm just running my mouth. I told you my brain was half sleep. So bear with me now, okay? Is that all right? All right, okay. Because as I said, I'm a working mom, so I've been traveling a lot. In between here, I'm getting acquainted to my new job and then being bi-coastal, being here during the week and then flying home on the weekends and then coming back in. So it's like, it, it's, it's a new transition in that way as well. So as adults, we don't always like to travel, you know, so but... I saw this cute video of this little kid who's so excited to be on the airplane. Y'all just look at the video. This was so adorable. I wish he was on my flight, but check him out. Hi. Hi, <laughs> honey. Hi, Hi. 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 How, how sweet is he? I'm sure he probably helped calm somebody's day or their fears, because sometimes people are afraid of flying, right? So always remember to just say hello to somebody, smile at somebody, because you never know how much of a difference that can make in someone's day. Like, for example, right? So with that being said, I would like you to turn to your neighbor and say, hi, hi. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I see people whispering in ears and everything. <laughs> well, anyway, I've been sharing a lot with you guys and I hope, you know, this is a new relationship and all. But, you know, that's what we're here. I'm here to share with you all. I got a little bit more I want to share with you. Um, Elizabeth, can you bring my pocketbook, baby? You know what a pocketbook is? Yeah. Yeah, anybody? Uh-huh, this... 
This is my purse that I love to travel with, even when I'm traveling on planes, because I'm a mama. And then, you know, for us, we got a lot of jobs. And the kids always tease me. They be like, so how many purses do you need inside of your purse? So I got, right now, only got one, apparently, one extra one. But I normally have about three purses. Don't, did anybody else carry, like, three purses inside of their purse? <laughs> or is it just me? You do, too. You do, too. OK, so it's not just me. So kids, don't be worried about why I got 10 bags, OK? <laughs> but I do want to get to know, if you don't mind, can I figure out, can I get, y'all teach me what's inside y'all bag? I really want to see. Can I tip my parents see? What's in my bag? Oh, my goodness. Now, who wants to share their bag with me? You going to share your bag with me? Can you stand up here? And it's purple. You know that's my favorite color, right? Yes, ma'am. What's your name? Patricia Abba. Mm, and where are you from? From Rancho Cucumanga. Your, I love your accent. It's so beautiful. Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, can you tell me what, what's, what you have interest in inside of your bag? Oh, I have two fans. Two fans? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got all oh, the... the oh. <laughs> And, and then, when do you choose, how do you choose which one to use? Uh, according to my outfit. <laughs> according to that outfit! Okay, so which one is for the look? To the, yes, ma'am, yes it is! You said Yes. I love it. And then, when, you, when do you pull this one out? Uh, when the flashes come. <laughs> well, there you have it! Well, thank you for coming to see you about us. And if you feel the need, you can leave that purse so I can put it inside my purse, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait. I got one more thing for you. Since you allowed me to see what's in your purse, I thought you should have a little Duncan to go inside yours, okay? And you pull out that fan, and you look fabulous while doing it. Yes, ma'am. Look at her, y'all. Don't she look good? Give her a hand. Yes. Anybody else want to share their bag with me? Come on up here. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am wonderful. What's your name? Beverly Lewis. And where are you from? Santa Clarita. Santa Clarita. <laughs> nice. What you got in your bag for me? Let's see what we have in here, J-Hood. Bam. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Oh, this is the police. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't try to reach my hand in your bag. <laughs> That's the police? <laughs> yes, you better be disguised. No, you don't. But now that I look at you, you look tough like you're going to get me. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't try to take the bag. That's why I had to show you, because I saw you iron up my bag. You see that? <laughs> and keep an eye on mine, too, because I got to make sure ain't nobody get up in my pocketbook either now. Hold on. I need to get one of those 10 bags you have. You do, you should. I'm a bad girl. Look. You a bad girl? You. Look, look, I got oh, you got another? She got another bag inside of the bag and inside of the bag. Look at that. <laughs> See? <laughs> yes, you are. You understand. Okay, so tell me the purpose. Like, why you got a bag inside of a bag and what's inside of that bag and that bag and that bag? You never know when you may need an extra Thank bag, right? Thank you. you just, I understand. Thank you. Yes. All right, but if anybody need help and somebody got a hold of your bag, we got an officer right here, okay? <laughs> Thank you. I got a little something for you, too. Hold the line. To go along with your mini bags, you put that inside your bag and you go to Dunkin' Donuts and get you a treat, okay? You no, know, this... Wait, now, you know it's cops. We love our donuts. Yes. Right? You do. Pops and donuts. I love that. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much. I got one more. One more. Oh, oh come on. How are you? Oh, you got one for me, too. You excited? Come on, step down and let me look at you. What's your name? Karen. And where are you from? Sherman Oaks. Sherman Oaks. All right, give her a hand. Now, your bag remind me of my mama's bag. She used to have peppermints in the bottom of her bag. What's in the bottom? What's in your bag? Pep. You need that? When you oh, okay. be old, you need that. Okay, this is called that bug bite thing because I'm plagued by mosquito bites. Okay. So it suctions the saliva out. Wait, explain this? <laughs> it's not as kinky as it looks, okay? It just <laughs> suction, <clears throat> and it suctions the saliva so I don't get swollen after I get a bite. Because mosquitoes treat me like a buffet, so that's what I need. <laughs> okay, first you start with mosquito repellent. 
If that doesn't work, you suction the mosquito bite out, and then there's after bite for if it still doesn't work. <laughs> and do I get commission? You better put this on the market. Now, how did you find this? My whole family has mosquito bites, so my son bought it, my grandson used it on me, so now we, they give you three for nine dollars. <laughs> I need this. Yeah. Can I take that and put it in my purse? <laughs> oh my God. I don't know if it's psychological, but it seems to help. Because I like to leave the doors open so everything come and bite me up. You know. Don't do that. You need one of these. I need one of those. I was going to say, so you're going to, okay, thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Well, can I give you something? No, okay, let's trade. Thank you. Because mosquitoes treat me like a, a buffet. And my bites get really big. Yes. So I'm going to use this. Okay, I got it from you. Thank you so much. Okay, we have a great show. We'll be right back. I don't know about this, y'all, but I, it's no secret that I love me some animals. But what is a secret? I don't know what kind of animals I'm about to meet. <laughs> y'all, please welcome the founder of the Wildlife Learning Center, David Whitehurt. Come on out, David. Do you know a sloth is my favorite animal? Is it really? Yes, it it's is. It's a lot of people's favorite animals. Right now, sloths seem to be very popular. But this little guy... He's so cute! He, he doesn't even have a name yet. He don't? He doesn't have a name yet. He, um, he was nursing with his mom, but she wasn't producing enough milk. Mm -hmm. And so he started to get a little dehydrated, and eventually the mom kind of rejected him, so he had to be hand-reared. And so this stuffed animal sloth is... is a surrogate mom. Do you see him? I, yeah. Listen, do you I want had. To, do you want I, to pet him? I want to pet him. I want to take him. Can I be your mama? <laughs> oh, you are so precious. Here, you know what? He's Can, he's starting to eat a little bit of eat. solid food. Let's see if he wants some lettuce. Okay. Now, Try do he lettuce. got a long tongue or something? What no, got? just hold it up there. Okay. Let's see if he wants. You some. don't want He none? might not. He might not. Mama heard a feature. You want <laughs> some? You're so sweet. Aren't they neat? How yeah. old is he? He's just five months old. You're, you're five yeah, months? Yeah, he's five months old. And sloths, two-toed sloths, are found in Central and South America. Can and I... they live in the trees. They spend their whole life upside down, basically. They hang. So this isn't the position he'll be in as an adult. Mm -hmm. He'll be hanging like this as an adult from branches. That's even more precious. But right now, since he's such a baby, he would be, he's holding on to his, his stuffed animal. It would be his mom in a normal situation. <laughs> Can I be your mom? Come on, baby, eat something for me. Come on, let's sit down. Sit down on the good, you want a blanket? Here. <laughs> yeah. You want, oh, you're so sweet. So he ain't gonna move, huh? Does he make no. a sound? He makes them a little quiet sounds, Where but not going? a Where lot. Where you going? You, you want to come they over? They should really be called the two-fingered sloths. Baby, your meals is longer fingers. than mine. Yeah. <laughs> he wants, what, can, what's his, he doesn't have a name yet? He doesn't have a name yet. Can Any I suggestions? Oh, absolutely. Oh my God, see, I'm your mama. Hold back. <laughs> can I kiss him? You can kiss him. <laughs> McCavity, don't be jealous. <laughs> oh my God, I got me a new baby. Okay, so I done took your whole, and let's see, oh. let me try to feed him again. Here. <laughs> oh, now I want to name him. What you, what you think? Hudson. It's a boy, right? Hudson. I think it should be Hudson. Let's see, Hudson? Yeah, it's a boy. It's a Hudson. boy. Can I call you Hudson? You're know? you not getting this baby back. <laughs> we got a sloth now. Okay, can I hold him while you bring out the next animal then? Sure. Okay, good. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Hudson. Right. Do y'all see how cute Hudson is? Okay, who else? We... Uh, oh, hey, oh, no. Oh, this is a great animal. This, Jennifer. This oh, is... oh, no. Hold the line. This is. Woo! Jesus! What is uh, that? It's a red tegu, a type of lizard. Oh, Father, do you see the tongue? No. Okay. This guy is a sweetheart. Look at it. It may eat Hudson. He, he, he likes strawberries. No, he won't eat Hudson, but he likes strawberries. Can I ask, what is he He's thinking? He's really nice. You can touch him. Come OK, him. hold the line. Come here. <laughs> no, he's. Oh, Jesus! I love you. You OK, Hudson? Hudson's good. 
Let's he see, licking it. Look at him. He licking it. Well, he's he's an older lizard. How old? I don't want to yell him out. He's in his 20s. He's That's old for a lizard. So he moves slow. He takes his time when he eats, but mm -hmm. maybe maybe he won't. Maybe he won't eat right now. But red tagos, he's a male. They're, they're named because they have this kind of reddish uh, <laughs> scales. And we can tell he's a male because he has those big jowls, these, these big jowls on his side, which are to attract the females. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I want to be friends with him, but do, do he bite? No, he doesn't bite. He doesn't well, what bite. do he do? What do he do? Was, they would spend their days uh, searching for food, meat, and plants. And he was someone's pet. A lot of the animals at Wildlife Learning Center were yeah, former pets too? or animals that were injured and deemed non-releasable, meaning they couldn't be um, put back in the wild. They, they have injuries that prevent them from surviving. Y'all will be right back. I am so grateful our first guest is here today. She's an Emmy-nominated actress who you know from Friday Night Lights, Nashville, and The White Lotus. Please welcome Connie Britton. Thank you for being here. You look amazing. I'm a little starstruck. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I just had to come because I was excited to meet Aww, you. Aw, I'm excited to meet you. Aren't y'all just so excited? <laughs> I'm too excited to see you. Oh my gosh. You're awesome. Ah, you're awesome. Now, yes, tell me mm. about the mug you picked. Um, my mug says lady of the house because I'm the lady of my house. It's basically me and my son, so I'm the lady of the house. And I know that you're the lady of your house, too. Yes, because I have a son. You have a son, and he's yes. 11. And yeah. I have a 13-year-old son. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get to be I the lady. And we're it's raising me. boys. Raising boys, yeah. right? Yeah. It's, it's a new learning experience every single day, and mm -hmm. I love it. And your son is a musician, because mine, he, he can dance and sing. Look how cute he is! But he's a musician. Yeah. Like, what is he into? Well, he loves music. He loves, he plays piano, he plays the guitar, he plays the drums, and he loves to sing. And he just loves it, and I don't even, I've never made him practice, wow. you know, because my parents used to make me practice piano. But my son, I, I, he just, I just want him to do it because he loves to do it. And he just keeps going and he really enjoys it. Does wow. your son love music too? Yes, he does, but he's kind of shy when it comes to like singing, but he can really dance. He didn't get the dancing for me, but he can really, really move. I was gonna ask like, oh, wait. that's my munchkin and he's 13. Oh, oh. But he's so handsome. Like, how did you get your, did you introduce your son into to the well, arts or? You know, we, I was, he was basically two. I think when we moved to Nashville and I was doing the show Nashville. Cause you sing. So I, well, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, I do. I sang, I sang on that show and, um, but I was terrified every single time. Really? Listen, I can't even, this one with what? the voice, this one, like, you know, th and, and it's because of people like you. Oh God. Oh. With the vo this just this talent and this voice that just comes from God. Thank you. That made me nervous because I'm like I. For me, it is much more of a. It's, it's something I really had to work on, but I love it. And you know, I heard you talking about singing in the shower before. Yeah. And Do I you partly sing in the think I, I sing in the shower, but also when my my baby was a little baby, I would sing to him. And I'm like, I sound great. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I can play, uh, you know, the queen of country music on a TV show that so many people are gonna watch because I can sing to my son a great lullaby. Okay, okay, see, see, okay, I, I have to ask you this question. So I know for me, as an actress, when I, when I started out acting, I would never look up from the floor because it would be a whole audience. So I would look at the floor and just, they would be feet, like the whole production of people yeah. versus people. Now, had you ever sang before Nashville? What was your trick to be able to sing you know well, what I mean? I had, to get through I it. had sung. And the thing is, I grew up singing. My mother was a music teacher. We loved music. I sang. I, in fact, I played Dolly when I was 16 in Hello, Dolly. Like, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. The, the, the E.C. Glass High School production in Lynchburg, Virginia wow. of Hello, Dolly. A lot of people remember that one. <laughs> um, but, you know, and then I went to acting school and, and then again, I was surrounded by amazing singers like wow. you and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna leave that to them and I'm gonna focus on my acting. But then I forgot that I did that. I forgot that I made that decision when they came to me to do Nashville and 
you know, it was such a wonderful opportunity. And by the way, I'm so, so grateful. I always want to challenge myself myself with every role that I play. Yes. And so I loved the challenge. I, lo I loved being afraid, you know, even though it's terrifying being afraid. But, uh, you know, I just felt like I had to go for it. And I, and I wanted to, my son to have that too. Wow. And then your show won Best Limited Series for the Emmys, huh? That's right. Give her yeah. a hand. Yeah. That is amazing. And we were not, you know, there were five of us, mm -hmm. five women from our show were nominated in the same category. Wow. Yeah. So we were like, technically we were That's up against amazing. each other, but we weren't because it's like, I, I, are you kidding? I would have been happy with any of, any of them <laughs> winning. I, you know, I'm just, I'm just always, I can't believe I'm there. I'm so grateful to be there. We're back with Connie Brin. Tell me, what did you do before you became who, be, who you became? <laughs> A lot of things. A lot I of mean, things? I pounded a lot of pavement. You know, that's what they say when you're trying to be an actor. Um, let's see, what, what jobs did I do? Uh, I taught aerobics. Mm. Mm -hmm. Grapevine. <laughs> um, I did murder mysteries. Murder mysteries, that was like exciting because that was my first acting job. Like my first paid acting job. I would do murder mysteries around New York City. I also did murder mysteries on a cruise ship. Really? That was the I hit the big time when I did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was very I exciting. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I got my start on the on the cruise ship. You so. did? Yes. We have that in common, right? No. Yeah, I didn't do murder mysteries though. That sounds fun. Oh no. Like when can you explain By the way, you were probably an amazing singer on a cruise ship, right? Yeah, I I, I did. I, yeah. I I well I won't say well, I, I mean, was, but I have to say, like in the world in the world of the cruise ship, when you're going on a cruise ship doing the murder mystery, uh -huh. the people who are the singers and the dancers are like the celebrities on the cruise ship. That's what they used to say. Yeah, yeah. Y'all were the celebrities and we were just like we were in the lowest part of the ship, like, <laughs> like that we did not have actual windows in the, like you didn't, like we were under the water. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, I was under but, the water too. I was under the captain's, I was in the bow. Where were you? I was in the bow of the ship. I, I, whatever the, 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 the cellar. <laughs> like the, is there a cellar in a ship? Has, does a dungeon? Was there a dungeon? Because that's what we, we were in the dungeon. Like, okay. Yeah. Honey, tell us about Feeding America. Tell me what that's about. So yes, September is Hunger Action Month. And so my feeling is, well, how do we take action? You know, I'm always asking myself that question. And Feeding America is such an amazing way to really make a difference. Mm -hmm. And... Sometimes you think, oh, I've, I, have to, I have to give a lot of money. That's right. the only thing that's going to help us give a lot of money. Well, first of all, you can volunteer. You right. don't have to give any money. But also, one dollar will pay for ten meals. Ten meals. Ten meals. So even if you can donate a little bit of money, you're making a huge difference in people's lives. And, you know, I just... I love the idea of being able to go out into our own communities yes. and help our neighbors because yes. that's what we need to be doing more of all the time. Oh my so. God, I love that so much. Your yeah. heart is so big and we can tell. Whoa, Please, yes, I would yes. love to help. Yeah. Please let us know. That's so awesome. For more information on Feeding America, go to our website. Y'all, we'll be right back. Thank you so much, honey. That is so amazing. Our next guests are two news anchors who have brought their jobs home to keep us posted on some adorable developments. Take a look. Good morning, Bella. It is 9.52. Hopefully you slept well. Certainly no one else did, but we're not going to point any fingers. Let's hand it over to Robert Burton for more on your weather. Well, JR, beautiful day outside. As you can see, temps in the mid-80s, no humidity. Will we get to enjoy it? Well, if spit-ups, feedings, and diaper changes don't get in the way, we just might be able to make it out of here before midnight. From Washington, D.C., please welcome Jeanette and Robert. Hey, hey. <laughs> so you two are a married couple that work for two different stations. How does that yes, work? Yes, we are direct competitors. He's yes. my direct competition. So, He's like, my goal is to beat him. Beat me, yeah. Vice versa. <laughs> and vice versa. It's a little crazy at home. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've been an anchor. I've been an anchor for 10 years. You for 12 years. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. It's been a long time. And we met in Little Rock, Arkansas. Yeah. I was going in for an interview. And uh, he was the weekend sports anchor. Oh, yeah, that's us. You didn't expect to see that? Uh, not, not that one. <laughs> I know. Not, oh, my I know. God. Y'all can change it if you what? want. <laughs>
how did you all start making the videos? Like, where did that come from? What inspired it? I came, so I came up with the idea September of 2020. Mm -hmm. I, rem I, remember, I remember that clearly. And um, I pitched it to him. I was a little nervous because my, my brother would always make fun of me um, and anchors because we speak differently on yes. air. And he's like, why, why do you talk like that? <laughs> so I told Robert, I said, what do you think if we make a video right. um, making fun of the anchor voice? And he wasn't wanna, feeling it. I didn't want to do it at all. <laughs> he was like, I didn't want to do it at all. I, so I, it was and I, her idea, huh? It, it was her it was idea. Her, so. And I didn't even have Instagram at that point. No, I? he didn't even have an Instagram. I didn't even have an Instagram at that point. I just, I, I wasn't huge into social media right. yeah. at that point. And uh, I figured it's either going to be really cringy or funny or both. Right. And it, it took off. Did hours you ever after think we, it would go viral? I'd absolutely. And I still, we still don't really get why <laughs> people enjoy it so much. It's the, the main thing is the code switch. Yeah. You know, mm. people really enjoy how you can go from anchor voice to talking into, you know. Because I'm wondering, voice. like, how, how do you do it? I just listen to your voices. I feel like I'm watching the news right now. <laughs> oh, really? I want to close my eyes. How, how do you do that? Like, you know. So uh, you, you go just talking regularly, right? And then you've got to just deepen your voice a little bit, just like this, to try and get some authority, right? Hear and that? then you want to project like you're talking to the person all the way across the room. It's just really obnoxious. OK. And then you try to enunciate. And that's, that's about the voice there. It's and, yeah, everything she said is accurate. And then you... <laughs> you hear this? And, so try it, try it. Oh my god, OK, OK, so, wait a minute. So go ahead, go ahead. I need a little practice. Okay, y'all okay, running okay. this right now, because I feel like I'm on your news channel or something. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute, let me hear your voice, because you know I, I, I need to hear with my eyes closed. I'll, I'll, I'll toss to you. So good evening. I'll talk now with 652. Oh, 652. Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson. Is live here. Live here. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Is that all right? Did I do okay? Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Okay, I want to play a little game with, with Jeanette and Robert, all right? So give us a second. We'll be right back because I'm going to work on my... <clears throat> I got to get into character. And we're back with the news anchors, Jeanette and Robert. Okay. I told y'all I was going to be... Was that okay? That was, that was good. really good. Okay, okay, that was okay. Really good. See, y'all hear me working on it? Don't there act you like you ain't hear that. There okay, you listen. Go. So... <laughs> I want to try a game with the both of you, okay? Right. So two words will appear on the screen, and okay. then I want you to make up a story using your anchor voices. Can you, I know you can handle that, so okay. let's see where the words at. All Pull right. them up on the screen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Clown. Uh, okay. <laughs> Clown rescue. All, All right. right. Good evening. Your time now is 6.52. We have some breaking news here at a circus. Our Robert Burton is live on the scene with the very latest. Robert. All right. Stop yeah, you. Yeah, JR, thank you. Thank you. We are live right now. The, the situation here is that 12 clowns are trapped in one car. That's right, one car. Oh, here's the thing. The crazy thing about it is that this car is, it usually happens in a clown car. This is a convertible. Uh, top, top down, top down? <laughs> the top is down, in okay. fact. All right. So they can all actually get out of the car. Uh, actually, Robert, uh, one second. I want to go live to our correspondent. Okay. Actually, this is a person, an eyewitness here. Jennifer Hudson, mm -hmm. uh, what have you been seeing? So I saw the clowns. <laughs> they was on the expressway. <laughs> then one of them hopped out the window. The other car blew the horn like, eh, eh. But they didn't Oh, oh, okay, Jennifer. That's Hudson. what I saw. There okay. We, <laughs> all right. There we go. All right. Jennifer Hudson, thank you so much. Yeah. Diana, thank my guests. Thank y'all for coming. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.